Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the market continued to balance within the upper part of yesterday's range, leaving the buy side in firm control. Heading into the open, we have initial resistance at 48.75 to 50.75, and we'll be watching to see how the market responds to that area and whether we have that continued upside momentum to really push the market even higher. So how the ES responds to 48.75 to 50.75 is really going to set the tone and the bias on the day. If we fail at initial resistance, we can quite easily pull back to 41 quarter to 43 quarter. And from there, there's even potential to go down into the 38 quarter low from yesterday and the 32 quarter, 34 quarter zone could even be tested. So we're going to watch to see whether ES fails at 48.75 to 50.75 or whether it continues to balance and hold above yesterday's VPOC and then eventually breaks out even higher. We know that the market is in a clear uptrend, the buy side is in control, so we are going to give the benefit of the doubt to buyers and give more edge to the buy side. It's just that because ES is trading at a very elevated price at fresh all-time highs, we just need to be uh, mindful of initiating new longs at these higher prices. And it's not even a matter of price, it's a matter of timing. Um, you know, if you are taking a long setup at uh, 48.75 to 50.75 or 47 and you have a lot of momentum behind you, the NYC tick is holding above zero and printing some fairly nice values, you know, that from a timing perspective can work out. But if the market is struggling, at 48.75 to 50.75, and there's really just a lack of upside momentum, then failure at the higher prices is more likely, and continuation is going to be a struggle. So right now, it's not so much a matter of the absolute price. It's really about whether there is enough momentum to continue carrying the market to higher and higher prices. Beyond the 48.75 to 50.75, we don't have any reference level. We don't have any hard resistance because the market would be making fresh all-time highs. From there, we could see a move into 56.5 to 58.5, 60 quarter. Uh, these are really just range-based ideas, so you know don't be very rigid with those zones. Um, and uh, we're certainly not going to look to short those areas unless something sets up in real time. So right now, on the short side. The only time we can really consider a setup is if something is clearly setting up in real time, if there is a major disconnect in where the price is and where the advanced decline is, or if there's a major negative divergence or a shift in the underlying momentum. And even then, we have to secure some decent location to actually survive any short-term bounces and get uh, anything uh, decent out of the short setups. So right now, the focus is still going to be more on long setups at support. Uh, we are open to shorting the market, but it has to be a real-time trade setup. It's not going to be just based off of location because right now the trend is pretty strong to the upside. So again, heading into the open, keep an eye on 48.75 to 50.75. See how the market responds to that. Keep an eye on the previous VPOC at 47. I think how ES responds to those two areas is really going to be key and set the bias on the day. Also keep an eye on the other markets. Even though ES is making fresh highs, the other markets have not yet, and they are in catch-up mode. So we want to see NASDAQ and the Russell continuing higher as well. And if those markets start to stall, then it's probably going to result in a pullback in the S&P as well. On the downside, 41 quarter, 43 quarter is the first area of decent support. But uh, you know, if we're heading down on strong downside momentum or broad market weakness, then uh, breaking that and testing 38 quarter or even the 32 quarter, 34 quarter would be a possibility that we'd be open to. Um, that's just something we're going to have to interpret and assess in real time. Now, as the market goes down into those lower support areas, 32 quarter, 34 quarter and beyond, that's where responsive buyers can start to enter the market again. So 32 quarter, 34 quarter, the um, 28 half uh, level, 25 quarter, and then especially 1975, 2275. You know, those are areas where buyers are very likely to be active. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Um, let's see if the buyers can really maintain this firm control and whether we continue to see upside momentum 
Let's see how ES responds to 4875 to 5075, and we'll take it from there.